My name is Josh Landris. I am the owner and operator of J. Landris Brass in New York City. J. Landris Brass specializes in the repair, restoration, retail, and sales of brass musical instruments. I'm going to walk you through how our team here at J. Landris Brass restores brass musical instruments. One of the first steps, especially for a silver plated instrument, is to degrease it. So we have this sludge. It's actually the only kind of toxic chemical we use in the shop, which is an industrial paint remover based out of methylene chloride. Really, really nasty stuff. But we use that for removing lacquer, which is the clear finish over an instrument, and we also use it for degreasing. We want to remove all the biofilms, oxidations, corrosions, buildup of gunk that's been in an instrument for many years. From there, we're gonna disassemble the parts of the instrument itself. So we're gonna take the bell off or the lead pipe apart, take braces apart, take slides apart, basically break it down into individual pieces. To get dents out of brass instruments, we have a lot of real specialized tools. Everything to what we call a dent ball, which is basically a steel barrel-shaped ball that comes in gradual sizes by about five thousandths of an inch. We also have mandrels or steel forms that we can use to shape the metal. We have burnishers or rollers. So what that is is a hardened piece of steel that either rolls in between, you would put the, the instrument in between a mandrel and that to kind of reshape it to that or you can have a hand burnisher, which is just a solid piece that's polished really well. Each specific instrument could be different as far as the work involved from the last instrument that we restored. For example, a lot of instruments we work on are gonna be at least 100 years old. And in that time, sometimes the instrument might not have been manufactured as well as a newer instrument. So you can have unevenness in the metal or unevenness on the inside. If you think of your sleeve of a jacket, when you bend your arm, the sleeve is gonna stretch and kind of ripple on the inside. The same thing happens with brass instruments. When you're bending the tubing to get the shape, it's gonna ripple on the inside and stretch on the outside. When we go to restore it and take the dents out, those ripples kind of come through from the inside out. Sometimes instruments get holes in them. When they have holes, that's really bad. Generally speaking, you want air going in from the mouthpiece and air coming out from the bell and nowhere else. One of the things that we do instead of replacing the part or replacing the instrument is to make a patch on it. And basically think about it like a patch on a piece of clothing. With instruments, it's a little bit different because we have to shape the metal to the form that it's going to be for the instrument. Matt is shaping, we have a mold made out of lead that he's kind of shaping the metal into roughly. Then from there, he's hammering it onto a mandrel, a steel form like we talked about, to get it into shape to follow the contour of the part that it's going to cover up. One of the key tools in our workshop is our metal lathe. We use our lathe for all sorts of different things, from basic things like cutting tubes of specific lengths to taking things apart. We also use it to make screws and replacement parts like braces or caps. To get all the pieces of an instrument together, the instrument needs to be soldered together. For this generally, for parts that are removable and can be repaired, we're going to soft solder it. We use various types of solder, generally a mixture of lead and tin, and they'll be in different alloys from there. Then we will use a flux, which is a cleaning agent to make sure that the metal is clean on the inside. We'll heat it up again and then apply the solder. After that process, we're going to do a really nice polish, get a good finish on the instrument so that it's as shiny as possible. The process to get the instrument shiny involves a couple different steps. One of the tools that we use in our shop quite a bit would be our buffing wheel. We have various compounds that we'll put on different types of wheels. So the first one is a rougher compound to get out scratches. It's kind of abrasive and takes off a little bit more metal, which is called Triple E. This is a trombone bell that has a lot of scratches in it, and we are trying to get those scratches out by buffing it with the Triple E compound. After that compound, it'll go into a Red Rouge, which is a very bright red buffing compound that's very, very fine, and that's what we'll use to then get the mirror finish on the instrument. Besides just using the buffing machine, we do a lot of hand polishing. 
We hand polish for a number of reasons, especially on a plated instrument. A lot of instruments can be silver plated or gold plated. The plating on an instrument is generally very thin, so if you're putting the instrument on a buffing wheel, you run a really good chance of taking off some of the plating. By hand polishing, or hand ragging as we call it, you can get into all the tight corners and little spaces where a buffing wheel won't reach, and it's also a little bit gentler for the instrument and for the finish of the instrument. Thank you for following us on how to restore a brass instrument. We look forward to restoring an instrument for you.